Well, Mike's and I over here at the Sandy Creek to give it a try, see if we can catch any salmon or trout. So let's give her a go, boys. Seeing we can't catch any trout, we don't see any salmon yet. We're gonna cut some chubs. We're gonna use a jig plane, and I'm gonna use a jig with a waxworm. And I'll tell you, the waxworm makes all the difference. I just caught one on the waxworm, tried it without a waxworm and nothing. So let's try it again. This time with a waxworm. All right, we're gonna try the jig with the waxworm. That's our Black Max jig with a, with a waxworm. Let's give her a go, boys. Instant hit. Instant. As soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water. Some bites are getting bites. They're not really taking what they're biting. I'm missing them, but we're getting bites. We're getting bites one after another. <laughs> it's hard to hook them the sucker. Hmm. All right, we got one on. We got one on. With a wax. All right. <coughs> <coughs> We just caught this chub with a waxworm. You can see the worm on there. See the worm? That makes all the difference to me. As opposed to without it. I prefer the waxworm. If anything, it builds up your hand. So, so we're saving these chubs. We're going to freeze them. We're going to save them for pike bait and catfish bait. We can even save these. And we're going to freeze them whole. And we can even use them in the winter, once you thaw them out. So as you see, without the, without the wax one, you don't get as many hits, if you get any at all. All right, we're putting another wax worm in. But without the wax worm, I mean, they'll still hit it. But with the wax worm, it, it increases your chances. So anything that's gonna increase my chances, I'm gonna do it. It means catching the fish and not catching the fish. I'm buying wax worms. And that's the way I fish. So if it comes to choices, I'm going to use a waxworm every time. I mean, I've, I've caught them without, without the waxworm, but I like increasing my chances. And if I can, I'm using the waxworm. That's the way we fish. All right, we got another one on. We got another one. See? Put the waxworm on, and that's, that's the difference between a waxworm and no waxworm. There's the difference right there. The proof is in the pudding. Right, Max? Oh, Max is looking for something to eat. What you looking for, buddy? Something to eat? Don't be eating dead stuff. Hey, don't be eating crap. Got a treat for you in the car. He's been on a diet. He hates. He don't like being on a diet. He's hungry all the time. He's just a hog when he eats.
got another one. Oh, oh, he just dropped off. He just dropped off, that's sure. Well, I did have a couple plates, but not very aggressive. So we're gonna put a wax worm back on it. Catch one more chub, we're gonna move up further up the creek. All right, we're trying one more little spot up here. One more little spot up here. Where we caught trout in the past up here. Oh, we just lost that chub. We dropped right off. He dropped right off his chill. Just saw Sam in trouble. <laughs> All right, we got this little bigger chub right here. Oh, a little bigger chub. Chub on the wax one. Now we got six. Now we got six. We got a half dozen. Oh, nice job. All right. Well, we got enough bait here. Well, that ends it. This experiment. Use a no. Use a wax worm or don't use a wax worm. On a marabou jig. On the black max marabou jig. Well, we caught five chubs with the with the grub on, with the wax worm on, and we caught zero chubs without it. So that ends this experiment. All right, Max, it's gonna rain pretty soon, so we have to pack up and get out of here. Max, come on, we're gonna be moving. We're gonna go to another spot. We're gonna go down by the falls. We're gonna go in town down in the fall, see if there's any salmon or trout down there. So thanks for watching our videos. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Don't let the game vultures get you. Don't let the game vultures get you, Max. He's after frogs. Get some frogs, buddy.